It isn't the first time that a superstar NBA athlete has come out and said, yo, organization, I'm pissed and I'm not going to sign a contract extension with you guys this year. So you better trade me or else you're going to get nothing for me. Carmelo Anthony did it. Dwight Howard did it. Chris Paul did it. Russell Westbrook is currently doing it right now. And Kevin Love did it. But Kevin Love isn't really a superstar anymore. So we're going to take that one away. What the fuck, bro? Now, look, you guys have to all understand i'm a laker fan and i'm here to give you my first-hand experience as to why you never want your team to trade for a superstar athlete that is on his contract year the first reason you don't want to do this is this athlete could fucking leave what if russell westbrook gets traded to my rival boston celtics for who would the celtics give up they probably give up a bunch of the first round picks that they drafted this year plus yeah they're gonna give away Jalen Brown there's no way Russell Westbrook gets traded to the Celtics without a top three first round pick being the prime asset this trade is built around now, I know as a Celtic fan you're thinking this is a no-brainer we get Russell Westbrook they get Jalen Brown but what if Russell Westbrook leaves Chris Paul promised the Clippers he'd sign an extension Dwight Howard left the Lakers but Dwight Howard is an anomaly fuck Dwight Howard Kevin Love re-signed with the Cleveland Cavaliers but the Cleveland Cavaliers made it to the NBA Finals that year. Now, I know a lot of Laker fans are like, well, maybe the Lakers should trade away D'Angelo Russell and Brandon Ingram and fucking get Russell Westbrook. Stay off the damn weed. All the Laker fans that think that we should do that, go jump off the fucking bridge right now, man. Kill your damn self. Kill your damn self if you think that the Lakers should give up D'Angelo Russell and Brandon Ingram for a one year, a chance at retaining Russell Westbrook. So to all the teams that are like, wait, Mike, if we shouldn't get Russell Westbrook, who should, what should we do? Rebuild your squad organically, man. The Spurs did it. The Warriors did it. I know you could buy yourself a championship. I know the Miami Heat won two championships and made it to four consecutive NBA finals by building that big Big three around LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. I know that the Boston Celtics big three had a fairly successful run as well, but how many championships did the Miami Heat win? What, two? How many championships did the Celtics win? One? That's not a dynasty. Look at the Spurs. They made it to the NBA playoffs every single year since Tim Duncan has been on the squad. Look at the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, they did go out and sign KD, but even if they didn't sign KD, they were poised to make consistent playoff runs so long as they kept that nucleus of Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Steph Curry together. So what I'm trying to say is don't go out and try to trade for Russell Westbrook. Do you know why? Because he's a free agent at the end of the day anyway. Imagine if the New York Knicks didn't trade for Carmelo Anthony, rather signed him at the end of the season and would have had all those pieces to surround him by. But the New York Knicks organization isn't necessarily known for making the greatest roster moves in the past. Hopefully in the future they will. Hopefully this offseason will prove to be successful for them but that's a different topic of conversation comment down below and let me know your thoughts besides that i'm your boy the flight mike and i'm signing out baby peace Woo! clear i want you guys down at tax warehouse tonight saint mothers are coming down at midnight to